Welcome to Prudence once again. Today we will be discussing Act 1, Scene 2. This scene is very important because in this play, Caesar enters in this particular scene. So let's see. So the scene begins with Caesar in the procession of his victory. Uh, we find out Caesar calling out his wife Calpurnia and when she replies, Caesar tells Calpurnia that she should come in the way of Antony when Antony would come running. Then Caesar called out for Antony and ordered him that he should run in such a way that he should touch Calpurnia. Why? It was believed that in the time of Lupercal, the festival, if Antony would touch Calpurnia, who was a barren woman, who cannot give birth to a child, then that curse would be removed. Thus, he gave this order to Antony. Soothsayer, a person who predicts about the future, called out for Caesar. Caesar then looked in the crowd to find out who was he. Then Soothsayer warned Caesar to be safe from 15 March when the curious Caesar inquired about the foreteller. Then Brutus, who is one of the closest friends, informed Caesar that it was the Soothsayer who warned him. Therefore Caesar ordered to present the Soothsayer in front of him. Cassius, friend of Brutus, did not like Caesar much. He too called out for the Soothsayer to come out from the crowd. But Caesar did not believe the soothsayer and says, He is a dreamer. Let us leave him. So everyone left except Brutus and Cassius. Cassius asked Brutus whether he would like to go to watch the walk. But Brutus denied. Brutus said that he didn't have any and who to you know, go and watch the walk. And then Cassius asked Brutus that um, from quite a long time he has been observing Brutus that he was not keeping well mentally. He was being stubborn, rigid and not that expressive. Is there anything wrong with him? Then Brutus answered Cassius that yes, there were a few problems that he wants to keep confined with him and uh, there are reasons why he was behaving indifferently. There were things that was bothering Brutus. So when Cassius saw that Brutus was not in his best mental health, Cassius took that particular opportunity to you know, plant that seed of poison against Caesar in Brutus's mind. He started plotting his major plan. Cassius persuaded Brutus that the latter was, you know, unable to see himself in anyone's eyes. Uh, he might be um, having problem in reflecting, expressing. So Cassius gave him a support by saying that uh, I am there for you. If you want some help, if you want to express things, you want to take out um, the problems, then it's me who will reflect the problems that's ailing you. Right. Now, in the meanwhile, they hear some noise from outside and Brutus certainly says that he fears whether the people has already chosen Caesar as the ruler or not. Cassius was amazed to see that Brutus too did not want Caesar to rule. Now that's another point, another additional good point for Cassius as he wanted that to happen. So he asks Brutus that, is it that you too don't want Caesar to be the ruler? Obviously, uh, Brutus replied that though he liked Caesar, he was a good friend, he didn't want Caesar to rule, he didn't want Caesar to win and again getting a weak string, Cassius came to, uh, to explain 
and manipulate him again about his plans. In the next video, we will see that whether Brutus was able to manipulate Cassius or not. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Bye-bye.